just so we'll have a copy of it for folks who can't make it but may want to watch it later. Jim, have you found our YouTube channel yet? Um, oh, I don't think I have. Yeah, we have a YouTube channel too. That's the one thing that's not in the member handbook that I talked to Gene about making sure we put in there is to just to reference it, but we do have a YouTube channel. Okay. Um, I, I followed the link on the calendar on the webpage and I didn't see the actual new member handbook there. I also sent it out, there was a, I sent out an email. Did you get the one um, that talked about the meeting today? No, nope. I'm not on the, uh, you're not on the distribution list? I'm not. Wow. How did that happen? I don't know, I didn't register maybe. <laughs> I'm just trying to think. Can I? I know what I can do. I'll do this. Hey, Jeff. Okay, what I'm doing is I'm putting it in the chat of the Zoom meeting. So if you go look there, you should be able to find it. Okay. Would you like me to uh, add my email address so I can be added to the email distro? That one um, yeah, if you want to, can you, can you send it to me? Do you have my email address? No. It's jerry.r.deal at gmail.com. Jerry.r.deal at gmail, yes. We are going to wait just a few more minutes. I'm not sure how many people. I had quite a few people actually accept, so it looks like not everybody's free yet. Hi, Pam. Hi, Gary. Jim, have you joined the Facebook group yet? A me? No. You want me to invite you? Yes. Okay, I will. Yeah, I think Sean would be new too. Yeah, I'm new. Did you join in? Yes. Perfect. Get over here. I really thought we were going to have about 20 people or so based on the responses. So I'm kind of surprised we don't have more folks coming in yet. I know. I noticed we had quite a nice response. Ah, but it's recorded. They can pick it up later. That's right. Well, 
<laughs> John, you remind me of a, a, a camera. You know why? The last name. My my dad uh, my dad's camera that I used to document my childhood was an Argus C3. Oh yeah. We got an old Argus camera that my daughter found at a flea market and we keep that up. It doesn't work. Well, it might work. I don't know. The, but it's old. <laughs> it doesn't work. I don't think. We'll wait just a couple more minutes and we'll wait till five, uh, 10 till then we'll start. All right. Just a, a comment about the format of the meeting. This is meant to be interactive. So as I go through these things, um, feel free to stop and ask questions. What I'm gonna do is sort of talk through the member handbook. And you should have either received it as a part of the invite or in an email, or if you didn't, it is in the chat of the, of the meeting here. So you can go grab it out of the chat if you want to and download it if you if you didn't get any of those other ways what i'm going to do is just talk through the member handbook um, i'm not going to read it i'm just going to give you some hit some of the highlights and then as you as we talk about different things, if you have questions or whatever, please stop me along the way. And then um, at the end, one of the things I'll do too is if you if you go back through the handbook and you have any suggestions for improvements or thoughts on how we might be able to expand it, to get make it more informational, any feedback is welcome. So you don't if, after we go through this and you read through the handbook, please, if you have a suggestion, uh, send that back to me. All right. Well, I, I guess if people come in along the way, they'll come in along the way. So let's just not make you guys wait any longer. Let's go ahead and get started. Um, a little bit of background. Uh, this club was started, uh, I'm trying to remember, about 15 years ago, I guess now, by a group of guys who got together to just learn how to do some um, software with the different types of um, photography software that was out there. And they ended up liking it so much that they decided to form a club and started it. And they started the Beaches Photography Club. Uh, that group has grown over the years. We're now probably somewhere, we're right at 125 paid members this year, right, Pam? Yeah. Last year. Last year, we, by the end of the year, we'd reached almost 200. So we had quite a few uh, uh, people in the club. And when we had the meetings and got together, uh, we would have anywhere from usually 50 to almost 100 people. And we always did that at the Beaches Library. Or if we couldn't meet there, we, we met some other places. But um, we did do that. We've been doing that for a number of years. And uh, just in general, we have all different levels of folks in the club. We have some folks that have had a camera for just a year or two. And then there's somebody like Jim on the phone who's been shooting pictures for over 60 years. Um, so, and I've been doing it in a dark room and such for 50. Now, what that means is that I've got one year's worth of experience 50 times um, <laughs> and the, re the reason for that is that things change so rapidly. So just because folks have, don't, haven't picked up a cam or haven't done too much at this point in time, almost everybody focuses in on something and becomes an expert at something, right? And so if, as you go through and you find your niche and, and become an expert on something, uh, what we do is we always encourage people to share in the club. This is not a, a club where people come to show off their pictures and say, hey, look how great these are. It's really more of a club where people get together and say, hey, how, here's what I did that I thought was cool. What can you share? And, and we end up sharing experiences more than anything. So it's not, it's really more about 
the camaraderie of photography and how we get together to share those things. And as we go through this, um, as we go through the, the member handbook, we'll hit on how we do that sharing and the things we do. So let's start first. As I started, um, I guess 15 years, I guess it's been 16 years now because it started in 2005. Um, and uh, with a group of folks that got together, we really just had a passion for photography. In 2012, the club was actually formed. We, we got a, um, we, we registered it with the government. We had a club name we, and we actually got a, ourselves a bank account and some other things so that we could start to collect dues and put those together. Last year in 2020, we actually incorporated because one of the things we wanted to do is that for our club members and for the guidance community people and incorporation gives a little bit more protection against anything that could happen. So if somebody were to uh, be in an accident with a non-club member or something like that, uh, those folks wouldn't be able to come after uh, the, in, the individuals as much or the club as much. It's really, it's a corporation. So we did that more of a protection because we'd gotten so big. Um, we all, we have monthly, we have monthly meetings. The meetings are always the first Tuesday of the month, unless it's a holiday and we need to move it. And typically they have been at the Beaches Library, although since, what is it, March now, I think, we've been doing everything virtually. So almost a year we've been doing virtual meetings uh, via Zoom. And we record those meetings, we put them out on YouTube so that if you don't have a chance to come and see it, uh, if you don't have a chance to join the meeting, there's, you can always watch it later. There are some special programs, like uh, Lewis Kemper, who's done some amazing things for us that are only available to our members. And so uh, our regular meetings will publish on a public YouTube, but those we only post on our internal um, Facebook site where people can watch those because the, those types of speakers would don't want us to put things out publicly because they actually sell those uh, those sessions and we actually paid for the session and so what ends up he allows us to record it and then use it internally for the club so we do those we do at least one program a month at least one meeting a month and a lot of times we have additional programs um, like uh, we'll have another Lewis Kemper coming up soon and we'll have uh, get togethers and, and go out. But a lot of times we'll just have uh, different sessions throughout the month and have a zoom meeting and people, if they're interested, can get together. When we do get together, we always have what we call a meeting after the meeting, which is probably where most people come to the meetings <laughs> <laughs> because they, what we do is we always go out to a restaurant and go for a meal. And that's where you really get the chance to meet people and learn some things about the different individuals in the club. Sitting across the folks and, and talking to them at a meal is, is a great way to, to learn. And, and a lot of times uh, it, when we had to suspend the meetings, we were getting sometimes up to 50 people going out to dinner. So wow. it was a lot of fun. And, and we also made a lot of restaurants happy or mad, I'm not sure which, but we did. So. <laughs> Anyway, we have the monthly meetings and programs, and then we have the meeting after the meetings. Uh, these things happen once a month. Our dues that we have are fairly modest, I think. It's $20 a year, and those dues uh, cover everything you, you need to do for, you know, everything you get within the, the different for the club, unless it's a situation where we're going out somewhere and there's a cover fee, like to a park or something, you would have to pay those. But at least the dues get you the meetings, they get you the programs, they get you um, all the different events that we have, the different um, meetups and, and outings that we do. So it's, it's, a, it's really a very reasonable amount for what you get. If you join as a couple, it's even cheaper. It's $35 for the couple. And those things, uh, <clears throat> and that does cover you for the entire year. The, the year is a calendar year, so January 1st to December 31st. 
you can pay those things a different, couple different ways now. You can use send a check, you can use PayPal or Venmo. Uh, those are the different things that, that are out there. And those, as you can see, the dues are used for things like uh, paying for speakers, paying for the website, hosting, and, and all those different types of things that we do. Sometimes we'll subsidize an event such as the holiday party, or if we're going to enter a um, competition where we need frames or something, sometimes we'll purchase the frames for those. So there's a lot of different things that those dues cover, and I think you get quite a bit for the, for the money. We do have a website if you have not had a chance to go see it. It's www.beachesphotography.com. And <clears throat> it has a calendar out there. It has newsletters, contact us. We have um, the different uh, pictures when we do the, the meeting pictures, when you send in meetings, pictures for the meeting for the pre uh, slideshow. I put those together and, and post those out on the website. I, I'm behind on that, I will tell you that. I'm the guy that takes care of the, the website and, and built it and, and puts it together. So if you take a look at that and you say, hey, you know what, what if we did this on the website, uh, let me know and I'll take a look at that. But we do have a, a lot of different uh, photos out there as well as other information on the club. We send out a monthly newsletter. Uh, we actually were getting ready to shut that down because we couldn't find anybody to do it, but we, we did. Uh, Nanette, how do you say her last name? Ann Follis? Follis? Uh, anyway, she's, she's uh, the one that's taken over the newsletter now and she is putting this together. And it, <clears throat> it will have announcements. It talks about new members, upcoming meetings, the speaker background, member photos and such. Uh, there's a lot of information in there in those newsletters, uh, but more than anything, I think I just like to look at the different pictures that the different folks submitted we put in there. But there's there's a lot of things in the newsletter that if you get a chance when you get it, take a look at it and see what you think. Probably the number one thing that people enjoy about our club, I, I will tell you, is our Facebook page. People will post out there, uh, they'll go out on an outing or just try something new and post it out there, they'll ask questions. It's, it really is a great way to get engaged. We also have different challenges, like one may be a challenge is take a picture of an eye. One of the things we're doing right now is we're taking, um, we're doing letters. So if you go take a picture of a, something that looks like a letter and you want to spell your name or whatever we've got all these different challenges and, and things going on we're about ready to start a new contest out there where people will post will post a photo and then we're going to have people propose what the title of that should be or the caption for that should be and the winner will get a little prize and such. so there'll be a lot of things going on on Facebook it really is a way to stay involved without actually having to get out and go do some things but it, and it gives you an opportunity to, to keep up with what's going on a, a lot of atoms and workshops uh, one of the things that we haven't done as much of lately are the workshops so we've done workshops on intentional camera movement we'll do workshops on lighting and studio photography we do a lot of different types of workshops uh, that can be that you can come and learn how to do different things and we'll either do those usually at the library or at a location depending on what we're going to do uh, one of the things i think we're we're talking about doing now is is a light painting workshop so if you oh, want cool. to go do, do night photography and learn how to do light painting we're going to we're going to show folks how to do that and a lot of times if you want to just go out and have a meetup, people will post out, hey, I'm going to go to the alligator farm tomorrow. Does anybody want to go on Facebook and such? And so a lot of people will just do ad hoc, spur of the moment, let's go do this. And you, you post them out there on Facebook and people will go do that. Now, one of the things we do have is that we do ask folks that uh, are going on a formal sponsored outing to, to sign a waiver. Uh, it's a liability waiver. It's, it's something that we do simply because lawyers make us do it. Um, but uh, it's, it's very simple. One time and you're done. You don't have to do it for every outing or anything. It's just to sign it once and, and you're done. Um, and what that does then is that helps protect you as well as the other members of the club, as well as the guidance community and everybody else against 
uh, different types of liability that could happen <clears throat> on a on an outing. I'm going to stop. Does anybody have any questions so far or comments? So or the waiver is that on, is available online, or do we sign up before we go to our first outing? Uh, typically, what will happen is if you sign up to go to an outing, um, you they'll take a look and say, "Do you have a waiver signed?" If not, they'll just email it to you. Pam, is that what you're typically doing now? Is just sending folks the waiver? Actually, Helen uh, checks out who's going on the outings, and she sends the waiver, and then Helen sends it to me, or I get it, or it gets sent to the club, and I put it in the um, club folder. And then okay. I, and you'll then sign it. We'll, oh, we'll sign. You'll sign it. We'll get it back, acknowledge it, and send you a copy back. Say we got it. So. Yeah, I just send it back, and I just send a little email saying that we received it. <laughs> I have one question about the website. Do you need to log in to get into that? Do I know what? I'm sorry? Do you need a login to get into the website? No. No? No. 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 Facebook. Oh, okay. It's just a Facebook. It's just a public website. Okay. Okay. And there, like, I, and there is a YouTube channel too. It's Beaches Photography Club. As if you search it, you can find the YouTube channel. And all the past meetings, say, I think the last six or eight meetings, have been recorded and they're out there on the YouTube channel. So if you want to go watch those, the past meetings, you can. Okay. We actually do several different competitions throughout the year. Uh, we have what we call people's choice uh, competitions. Uh, what we do there is when we're meeting in person, uh, people just bring in a photo and they'll post them up on the, on the wall and we'll go ahead around it, uh, the break and people will vote on those. And then the, uh, the winners, they're all anonymous, of course, the winners will get some sort of a little prize, but it's more an opportunity for folks to come in and, and share those things. One of the things we've been trying to do lately is do it virtually. So I think we should, we're about due for another people's choice competition. And what we'll do is we'll, we'll submit those photos, then they'll go out on a Google forums with a, a vote one, two, and three. You choose those, they're anonymous, and then we'll post back who, who won those. Um, <clears throat> we do an annual print competition once a year. It, as always, uh, sub submit in September. And then um, with the judging happens, we always have an external judge that comes in and takes a look at the pictures, judges them, and then uh, gives places in different categories, first, second, thirds, and um, honorable mentions. And those things uh, that happens in October, and uh, there's usually four different categories that you can enter in. And the, there are three of them are the same. The fourth is always a little bit different depending on the year. So those happen <clears throat> this year. Actually, it was kind of interesting. Jim Brown on the phone, who's just joined us, our club, um, helped select the photos that we're, that we're going to use for the Glenny competition. And as a part of doing that, he and another friend, Tom Wilson, we went through the photos. They loaded all the photos randomly into to Lightroom and started going through and giving feedback and saying, well, you know, if I were going to do something with this, I might, do, I might crop it differently or uh, change the contrast or do this. And I found that to be a, just a fascinating process to watch that happen. So what they've offered to do is in August, we're gonna ask folks that want to, to submit a bunch of different photographs and they're gonna go through that. They're gonna have a, a session in August for us where they go through and give that feedback oh, cool. just, just like, uh, like they did for the Glenny. So I say, okay, here's what I like about this picture. Here's what I would do differently. If I were going to do something, I might crop it or change the way it's um, formatted. Maybe I'll do it black and white, whatever. So they'll go through and give us some feedback based on that. So that should be a very interesting meeting. And, and that will be in, in, the, in the advance of the print competition. We also, as a part of the club, there's the Florida Camera Club Council. And you can, because you're a club member, join there for free. And you just go to uh, f3c.org and tell them that you're a member of the Beaches Photography Club. What they'll do then is they'll validate with us that you are a member, and then they'll give you access. And there's a lot of different um, training on there. There's contests that you could join. There's a lot of different things 
that you can get, uh, take a look at and, and join and, and take advantage of that. So uh, if you want to learn more about photography or just look and see what other folks in the, in the Florida are doing, f3c.org is a really good organization and it's free to you because of your dues. And also as a member, there are many F3C competitions. Don Dimer in our group typically takes care of those. He'll, he'll bring those up on the calls during the um, business part of the meeting and, and talk about what's coming. We, we've got one coming up that ends this month, I think, for a virtual uh, competition. So there's lots of different things out there. And if you have any questions, uh, just like I say, if you wanna send me a note, I'll forward it on to the right folks to get back to you on it. Good. As, as a club, we do actually do quite a few exhibitions. Uh, we do several, uh, usually many, one or twice a year at the Beaches Photography Club. Uh, we've done some different things uh, at some of the different museums around town. Uh, uh, the Beaches Fine Arts Series in 2019 actually had a show that, where they featured our, our different um, members' arts. And so there's a lot of different things that, as a club, we will do exhibitions. And they've been curtailed drastically this year because of COVID. But once things start to get back a little bit more to normal, whatever the new normal is, we, I'm sure we'll do that again. One of the big things about the club is everybody that is a part of the club and works on the guidance committee or does any of the other uh, other functions within the club, they're all, we're all volunteers. Nobody gets paid for anything. So when I build the, when I build the website or run the meetings or, or do whatever, you know, I don't get any money for that. I just get grief. So, <laughs> but there are opportunities. Uh, if you would like to get more involved, even just leading a workshop, pretend to do a tech talk, so a tech talk is typically somebody wants to tell us, you know, in a 15 minute time slot about maybe how to do this particular function in Lightroom or in Photoshop or something like that. Or it might be, uh, here's a, a cool hack in order to be able to uh, build, I saw Jim's done this, he's, he's gave a cool hack on how to build a, a different tripod for an iPhone or something like that. So there's different things that uh, tech talks where you can, uh, we'll try to get back more incorporated into the meetings when we're meeting in person. And then there's, there's also uh, write an article for the newsletter so that you can read it there. There's a lot of different things that you can do as a volunteer, but uh, it, we need, we really run on volunteers. So if there's anything you have a, a, an interest in, let me know and we can get you involved in that. We do have a set of bylaws. The bylaws are posted. Uh, I think they're actually on the website. Uh, they're on Facebook, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but they, they talk, we do run, and then we, we have a set of bylaws that we have to run and we have to keep updated because of, we're, we're actually incorporated. And we actually have to file taxes and, and, and that. So there's a lot of different things we do, but we do run by a set of bylaws. Those are available to you. They, they should be, I think they're on our Facebook. Um, but if you have any trouble finding those and you're interested in, let us know, we'll get those to you. We have four elected officers, president, vice president, secretary, and treasurer. Uh, we put those slates together. Uh, typically we'll start calling for volunteers in October, um, put the slate together in November and then vote on it in December with the new uh, slate going into effect as of January 1st. Uh, the past couple of years, uh, Folks have just well, have just said, okay, I'll stay in place if nobody else wants it. And, and so we're really looking to uh, maybe uh, change up some things. I, I have told folks that this is my last year as the president um, in 2021. 20, so 2022, we're gonna need to find somebody else. I think I've been doing it now, how, what, five or six years. And so we actually had to change the bylaws because he couldn't be a president for more than a number of years and I'd already exceeded that. So uh, I'm not the president because um, 
I love being the president. I, lo I mean, I do like it. <laughs> but what I'm saying is I would gladly let somebody else take this mantle um, uh, just because I, I do want to get out and actually do more photography and things. And I am retired now, so it's, it's, it's sort of eats into some of my time. Uh, it's not a huge consuming time, but, th but it, there are commitments that you need to make. Um, <clears throat> any questions on anything I've talked about so far? No. So just um, one last thing. Uh, we, we do have, like I say, we have a lot of different functions. We did not have a holiday party last year because of COVID. Uh, we are looking at potentially doing something uh, maybe over the summer or even just if things don't happen before then we'll just do the holiday party next year uh, um, because we've already got money that we've put forward from the club in order to do that at, at Queens Harbor. So hopefully we'll be able to leverage that sometime this year and actually have a get together once things get more to normal. But uh, if you need to get a hold of us, our email is speechesphotographyclub at gmail.com. And any, anything that you do in terms of us with your information that you give us, is we, we will not share that externally. We do not give your contact information to any third parties or share it outside of the club. We do, we may in some cases forward to the club um, information from a third party but we won't copy them on it. It will be blind to them. So if there's information that they want to share with us, sometimes we will forward it, but we will never give you your information to them. All right. Um, Pam, is there anything you can think of that I missed that we should really talk about? No, I can't think of a thing. It's just, um, I guess, renewal time more toward the end of the year, but you'll be notified in the, via the newsletter saying, hey, it's renewal time. Think about, you know, sending in your dues. But other than that, that's it. There, the only other thing is that there, we do have a grace period for folks through the end of March, I think, that haven't paid their 2021 dues. Um, so if folks are, have forgotten that and we remind them, and they forget again, then when they get kicked, usually when they say, okay, we're gonna take you off Facebook, that's when they pay. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, and no newsletter either. <laughs> that's right. So um, if you're a member and you've paid, you should be getting all, of, all these benefits. And if you see there's something you're missing, just let me know because it could be that we've just made a mistake on a VL list or something like that. But we'll definitely want to make sure that we get everybody as, as much information as we, we can. Hopefully not too much information, but uh, as we go forward, then we'll be happy to, we'll be looking forward to getting everybody new or that hasn't had a chance to participate much involved. All right. Just that simple, simple and sweet. And like I say, if there's anything else that you can think of or want to know of, just let me know and we'll definitely get you some, get whatever information we can to you. Oh, all right. Sounds good. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Have a great evening. You too. Thanks, Jerry. Thanks. Thanks. Hey, Thanks. Jim, can you hit, hold on for a minute? Sure. You guys hear me? Thank you. Thanks, guys. Hello. Hey. You guys hear me? Yes. Yeah. I can hear you, Tim. Okay. Uh, I had just questions, if you don't mind. Go ahead. One, is it clear how to sign up on the website and what uh, PayPal address and everything to? I'm sorry. I, I, is, it, is it pretty clear from the website how to sign up and become a member, including like the PayPal address? Um, I don't know that that's on the website. I don't know that it is, but I can definitely get that to you. Okay. I, I sent you the email, just reply to it because I'm ready to sign up. Okay. Yeah, we'll we'll send you that, and then you can and then you can get all signed up. Okay. Uh, second question is, I'm curious what you guys think you're going to do once you start meeting in person again. I mean, how does somebody say from Indianapolis go to Neptune Beach to attend the live? Excellent question. Excellent question. You know, that's something I should have brought up. One of the things that we figured out is that there are a lot of people that like to have to attend the meeting virtually. 
and it's also good to have the meeting recorded so people can watch if they can be there. So what we're going to try to do is actually, uh, when we do meeting in person, go ahead and continue to have a Zoom as well as a camera set up and, and the screen share so that people that are not there can also attend remotely. So okay. we'll continue to try to do both in person and remote at the same time as best as we can so that folks can participate in a meeting even though they can't be there in person. All right, that sounds good. Okay, thanks. All right, thanks, Tim. All right. Jeff, do you have any other questions or Sean? No, I don't think so. Um, we've already got a newsletter, the first newsletter and stuff, so that's good. Okay. All right. All right, thanks. Hey, Jim, I'll, I'll give you a quick call, Jim. Thanks, guys. Bye. Yep.